You want to park it a bit closer, Si? Yeah, thanks, Neil. Pump number six, please park closer. Told ya. Do you want our aftershave now? Oh, it's just links. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's nice. You come to sociology? Um, no, I'm, I'm good here. Oh, OK. Well, I'll see you later, then. Are you mental? She's so fit. Why don't you just walk to class with her? I just don't feel like it. Oh, what's wrong? Did you get hard on? Because the pretty girl spoke to you. Can you fuck <laughs> off? Hang on, you haven't actually got a stalk on, have you? Oh, my God, he's got a boner. Jay, please. Oh, yeah. Simon's got a boner! <laughs> boner! boner! Well, I'm gonna get served. And how do you know that? I've got a fake ID, innit? A driving licence that says I'm 18 years old. But you're not 18. Yeah, that's right, Neil. It's a fake ID. It's a lot of gel you've got in your hair. What? Smells quite strongly, too. Why are you telling this to me now? I'm just mentioning it. I can see you've got a lot in, that's all. What? I don't... I mean, I can't wash it now, can I? I've not got time. God, I don't know why you are like this sometimes. Have you wanked over Will's mum? Nah. Not yet. Please don't have a wank over my mum. I can't promise that, I'm afraid. Oh, hello there. This is Mrs Cooper, Simon's mother, year 12. Simon and his friend Winnie McKenzie have come down with food poisoning. Must have been from the chicken. You put on your mum's voice. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs Cooper. Now you say your son is ill. Yes. Oh, well, Mr Gilbert, the head of six, is just here. Um, I'll pass him over. Hold on one second. Oh, no, there's really no need. Look, if we hurry, we can still make it in time for English. Hello? Hello, this is Mrs Cooper, Simon is friend... Mrs. Cooper? Yes? What exactly is wrong with Simon? Food poisoning. OK, Simon. That's enough. I know you're bullshitting me. I think you better get into school. Cheers, all the best, God bless! I'd get in before you make things. Well, that was fucking dreadful. I think he bought it, though. Your mum is so fit, Will. I reckon she could be a prostitute. Thanks. <laughs> I feel a bit stupid doing this. This is fine, isn't it? Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. You would tell me if I was being a dick. Of course I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think writing her surname is particularly important. Have you been drinking spirits? Sorry, don't know what I was thinking. Would you like some? I'll stick to wine, thanks. Wine is for girls. I am a girl. How come you never mentioned you work at Thorpe Park before? I used to work at Asda and you never asked about that. I suppose your old man needs the money. He doesn't, actually. But paying for rent boys can't be cheap, Neil. Why, my dad's not bent. Why is he paying for rent boys, then? He's not! Well, they give him freebies. Simon, are you all right? <sighs> oh, Christ! I don't think I'm very well. I'm not waiting any longer. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What's that? Are you all right, Mr Monkey? Do you need help? Help! Help! No, that one goes! No, that one goes! Wasp! Wasp! Neil. Wasp! In my costume! <laughs> <laughs> Could we maybe sit down and talk about us and have you got any neurofen? It's just like... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, not again. <laughs> what? They're always doing this round here. They're bunkers. They've nicked my clothes. Where would they have put them? I don't know. Last time this happened, they burnt them. Burnt them? Just fucking go! But there's a gap, quickly! All right, for fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, shit. Now look what you've made me do! Though technically dressed, the clothes Neil had picked from Lost Property made him look surprisingly like a Brazilian male prostitute. Right, stop the car, I'm going to walk home. Oh, come on, Simon. Me and your mum like doing it too, you know. Oh! <laughs> oh they don't even ask oh, like that! that. <laughs> oh, so embarrassing! Oh, oh your mum loves it! <laughs> I think I'm ready for a relationship. You mean you think you're wanking too much? Yes. What are you doing? I'm reading. That's what I meant. Well, I don't know how anyone bothers with this shit. It's like a slow version of TV. Then why bother? The blind date. It'll make me sound clever if I say I read, and girls like clever blokes. But once a girl speaks to you, Neil, she'll realise you're not a clever bloke. Exactly. That's why I'm saying that I read books. No, 
Not exactly, because you'll still seem stupid even though you've lied about reading books. Exactly. Oh, OK, then, Neil, that clears it up. Good plan. I'm going over. Go away. With Simon's humiliation, the party was over. I promise you that when you go back from this place, you'll be begging your parents to buy a caravan. I'm not sure Neil's dad could afford a caravan. If he thought of it as a mobile closet, I'm sure he'd find the money. My dad's not bent. Well, we only have your word for that, Neil. My dad's not bent. Yeah, you would say that, though. He's actually quite good. Are you subversively mocking this place? Are you actually enjoying this hell? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yes, very, very nice. I think it's kind of hideous. My seat's a bit wet. Mine is, too. Yeah, it's wet here as well. Neil, did you wet yourself in my new car? It's not really new. Did you wet yourself? No. I did have a bird back in here. You fucked a girl in my car? No, it's too small. Did a lot of fingering, though. She wanked me off a few times. Oh! What the fuck are you wearing? Oh, my God. And I thought our suits were shit. Oh, your cock, it looks so tiny. It's like an acorn. Actually, maybe i better go stick a couple of socks down there. Well, I'm not getting back in the spunk, Mobile. Clean it up, Neil. Why? Because you have spunked on my seat! It's your oh, car. It's, it's your it's spunk! Stuck. Some of it could be her juice. You want me to get to a prom that starts at 8 at 4 o'clock? Well, that's what time I'll be getting there. There'll be loads to do. So what, I could turn up in my evening dress four hours early and help you blow up balloons? Yeah, you could help scrub the floors. It might be fun, you know, all together. I'll see you there in the evening. Great! Great! I'll see you there, then. You know, since he's met you, He's become much more of a dick. Really? Yeah, he does seem to think more and, like, express himself. Isn't that a good thing? Does it look like a good thing? Uh...